happiness. If I broke now my business, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, I could never be broke in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel at home with Nancy. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us today. At home with Nancy is all about interior decor, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and all things fancy. If that's something you're into, please, please, please hit that subscribe button so y'all could join the most high gang. And of course, you do want to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I do post new content. And for those of y'all who are not yet following my Instagram, please go check out my Instagram page so you can connect with me because I do chat with a lot of my subscribers. I do have a baby called Asher. So just in case you hear his voice, please pardon me, okay? Please. And here comes Asher. No! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I am so sorry about the interruption. <laughs> so anyways, with the thumbnail of this video, you all already know what this video is all about. It's all about the new season, Amina Muadi Rosie Pumps. So I first saw this beautiful shoes on um, Amina's Instagram. Wait. Wait, wait, how did you say you try to get all this time? Mm -hmm. And it finally came? Yes. Finally! Finally! I know, I know, I know. So yeah, <laughs> so that's my son Aaron. He's just so amazed because I've been chasing these shoes for so long, for the longest. So let me tell y'all the story about these shoes. So like I said, I first saw these shoes on um, Amina Mwadi's Instagram page. So she posted it saying from um, fall, winter, fall, winter 2021 slash 2022. And I was like, oh my God, these shoes are so beautiful. Last year, I'm not sure if you saw my uh, wish list, I had the Amina Muadis Bega um, slingbacks on my wish list. I had the orange ones, which got sold out. And for some reason, the Aminas get sold out very fast. Like, if you do not get your hands on them as soon as they come out, that's it. It's so hard to get your hands on these shoes. And in my head, I'm like, why don't you just make a lot, you know? Like, it's always sold out. Like, she drops the shoes and before you know it, it's gone. It's all gone. So, after the shoes was in stores, I decided to buy mine from Farfetch. So, the first time I ordered the shoes from Farfetch, they sent it out. You know, and usually when you do buy stuff from Farfetch, it takes like three days. So, I was hoping to get the shoes ever since um, maybe a month back, a month ago, or a month and a half ago. So, the shoes got canceled. Like, the order got canceled because it got here and then customs would not let it clear. So, they sent it back to Farfetch. So, it was so annoying. So, I called Farfetch and I, tr and I tried to order it a second time. So, I ordered it a second time and they said, um, um, they sent me a, a, an email saying my order has been placed. And then later on that day, like six hours later, I got an email saying the order was canceled. So I was like, what's going on? Is it my bank? So I checked my account and I saw that the bank approved the order. So I was like, what's going on with Farfetch? I'm not sure what happened, but it got canceled. So I called Farfetch again and they told me to check back on the website that maybe it's something in their system and they'll put it back up and try to help me get the shoes again. And at this point, I was so sad because the first time I ordered the shoes, <laughs> because of how much I love the shoes, I sent it to my designer, my dress designer, the same lady who designed my birthday dress. I sent her these shoes. I sent her the color telling her I want her to make me a dress exactly the same color. You know, so I was so sad because I was like, I'm already getting a dress made for this particular shoes. And now I don't even have the shoes at hand. And keep in mind, the first time I ordered the shoes, I sent her the picture of the, of the shoes after I ordered it. Because, of course, I did not know Farfetch was going to cancel my order or U.S. Customs were gonna, was going to return the shoes back to Farfetch for some weird reason. So, at this point, I was so sad because I was like, oh, my God, I have not chased a shoes this hard before. So, after this um, period of ordering the shoes over and over two times, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm not going through Farfetch again. So, I just kept on checking on Google every time. And I saw Nordstrom had the shoes, but they didn't have it in my size. And usually, when I do order shoes, if I'm not in the store, I try to get a 39.5 to be safe. 
just in case the shoe runs small because I do wear a 39 or a 39 and a half. So I check on the shoes every day, every day, more than once a day. And then one night before I went to bed, I checked and I saw Nordstrom had it and they had only one left in the 39 and a half. So I did order it, but then I was not even excited because I was just like, it might still get canceled or maybe, I don't know, there might be a glitch in your system and they tell me, oh, they, we're out of the shoes. I don't know. So yeah, so enough of all this talking, let's just get right into the unboxing. So here are the Amina Muadis. So I got these finally from Nutstrom and I'm so happy because this was their only 39.5 left. So let's open it. I'm so excited. So here it is. Yes. Well, you know how rare it is to you get to the last one. You, you said what? So you got the last one. Yes, I got the last one. No, that is so rare. I know, I got the last one. And I, and I wasn't so ex I wasn't even excited because I thought they might send me another message saying the order was canceled or something. But yeah, so I guess the third time is a charm. Because on my third attempt, I got my shoes. So let's see. Here it is. Okay. So move this way. So let's take out the dust bag. I love the Amina dust bag. It's so beautiful. Like the nice um, pink. It's so beautiful. So here it is. <laughs> Ta da! Let's take it out. I'll put it right here. So y'all could just look at it. this here so here it is here are the shoes let's take this off here are the shoes they're so gorgeous I love this blue Get the other one out. So here are the shoes. So here are these babies, these beautiful shoes. These shoes are definitely worth the wait. What do you think? Look how gorgeous these are. So these blue shoes are so pretty. This is a powder blue um, color. So, and of course, these are called the Amina Muadis Rosie. So, I was obsessed with the Begum at first, but for some reason, I saw this and I just completely forgot all about the Begum. I just wanted these ones so badly. And this color was just so eye-catching. I do not own any shoes this color, and I just wanted this in my possession to add to my collection of pretty shoes. Here is the bow. It's so pretty. So it has this rose pink bow on it. So I guess that's why it's probably called the Rosie. I'm not sure. But yeah. The shoes are gorgeous. I'm just going to be quiet so y'all just admire. So the Aminas has the leather insole right here. And here's the back of it. And these are my second pair of Aminas. And one thing I do love about the Aminas is this, their Martini heel right here. So these heels make the shoes really, really comfortable because it's not like your regular stiletto pumps. So these right here makes the shoes very, very much comfortable. And that's why I really like the Aminas. And um, for some reason, they do compare the Aminas to the Monolo. Hangasis, and yeah, and I see why because of the I guess the buckles in front of it. So the rosy has the bow on it, whereas the bigum has the starburst 
circle on it you know like the starburst buckle on it but um they do compare them a lot to the hangasses and that's just because these are just a classic heel they are so beautiful you could dress them up you could dress them down and i feel like the aminas are for like our generation like the younger generation and then the Manolo's hangasses are for like the older generation, but regardless the hangasses are still very much beautiful They are still very much a classic, you know, so this is like a modern day Manolo's I guess But I love the fact that these are pointy like I think these are very much sleek and very elegant. I love how it has the Like pointy toes, I really like it I think I do like like the pump style when it looks like this compared to it being round in front. So that's one thing I do prefer about the Aminas compared to like the Manoli Hangasis. And the back is just so very much beautiful. Like the bottom of the Aminas, they match the insole. And I've heard people talk about the Aminas uh, being not well made sometimes, but I've not had a problem with the one I have, you know, I have the Amna Gilder and I do not have a problem with it. And this one looks pristine. There is nothing wrong with it. It looks very good. The bottom, I've looked at it and it's just very much beautiful. So with sizing, this is the nine and a half. They say it do run small, but with me, regardless of how small a shoe runs, um, I never go above a 39.5. So I knew a 39.5 would be perfect. At least, to be on the safer side, get a 39.5. And with these shoes, I plan to wear them a lot with like jeans. Like, I'll wear them with dresses, but I'll dress them up a lot with jeans. I think they will look really, really nice. And I, of course, I like sling backs. Because sling backs to me are very feminine. They are very elegant, very ladylike. So that's one thing I do love about sling backs. So, yeah. So the back of it has this elastic right here. So, which is really good. So that way the shoe hopefully does not slide out of your feet. So it has a matching blue elastic band at the back. And yeah. So these crystals, let's just get into these crystals. Let me just bring it closer. Look how beautiful these are. The crystals are just so gorgeous. And these are um, new season Aminas. They did come in two different colors. It came in this powder blue and it came in the pink color. So with the pink, the, what's it called? The bow on it, it's silver. But with the blue, the bow on it is pink. And I actually prefer the bow on it being pink than a regular like crystal silverish bow because the pink just stands out so much. As you can see, I am wearing like a nice, um blush pink dress and i believe i could even wear this blush pink dress with these shoes you know and i can't wait to wear these also on jeans i think they'll look really cute like on blue jeans or maybe an all white dress so yeah but so far so good i do not own any like powder blue dresses in my closet so that's why i decided to get my designer to make me a pretty blue dress just for these shoes so i can style it that's the more reason why y'all need to go follow me on instagram or at least check out my instagram because i'll be posting pictures of these shoes when i do finally style it with my dress okay and let's just go ahead and try this on that's my favorite part trying on my new purchases so as you can see these shoes are so beautiful they were definitely worth the wait and um, with sizing, the 39.5 fits perfectly. Sometimes I do get questions about uh, sizing of shoes. So I do wear a 39.5 in loops. So all my loops are 39.5. And for some reason, I also do wear 39.5 in all of my other designer shoes, you know. Sometimes I do wear 39, but a 39.5 also fits perfectly. If I do not find a 39.5, I might take a 39 with some shoes, not all, because some shoes, a 39, would not fit at all. <laughs> so yeah, 
So, and these ones too are in the 39.5 and they are just perfect. I'm glad I did not get the 39 because I was so tempted to get the 39 when I couldn't find the 39.5. So yeah, so if y'all made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me throughout the whole video. Love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe.